a tank is filled with gasoline to a depth of exactly two feet so let's mind it that it's a depth and the depth is exactly two feet the tank is a cylinder resting horizontally on its side with its circular ends oriented vertically okay so basically the diagram of the cylinder looks like this it is resting on its side and the circles are oriented uh, circle ends oriented vertically the inside of the tank is exactly six feet long so this distance is six feet and the depth is that we have seen let me just try to draw a three-dimensional figure here so this is the water surface that will look like and this particular distance which is the depth is two feet what is the volume of the gasoline in the tank to find out the volume of this particular place we need that we need some dimensions we have the height we have this much part but we don't know about the radius of this part because depending upon the radius this width of the surface will continue to change and the amount of the gasoline will also continue to change in this particular cylindrical tank so what we need to answer this question is the radius let me once again give you an understanding why the radius will tell us how much uh, quantity we have here because the volume at first let's understand that volume is defined as the cross sectional area multiplied by the length up to which that is extended which means for example if you see that we have a rectangular solid we say that its cross sectional area which means this area is L into H and it's extended up to B so the volume becomes L into B into H similarly you can check that in case of a cylinder the volume is the cross sectional area is pi r square this is the cross section and it's extended up to H so the volume becomes pi r square multiplied by H so in this case as well we need to find out the volume so the volume is this cross sectional area that means this shaded part will be the cross sectional area and the height now since the volume is equal to cross sectional area multiplied by the length which we know is equal to 6 we only need to know the cross sectional area and the cross sectional area now I am going to plot a circle here this particular face I am plotting here now we see that the level of the gasoline is to this particular level and we understand that this particular distance is equal to 2 because the question says that the depth is exactly two feet now if we knew the radius then we will have some possible information that will give us the cross section because we can draw the line such as this if we know the radius then we can draw a line like this as well which means this is the radius and if we this part is radius this part is radius and this part is also radius if we knew the radius we can say that this distance will be equal to r minus 2 right which means this particular distance will be equal to now i'm using the pythagoras theorem because every perpendicular from the center on any chord bisects it so this will be half of this particular length a b that means we can say that this distance will be equal to square root of hypotenuse which is r square minus the perpendicular square that is r minus 2 square so this is a that means a b will be equal to twice of this particular length now if we knew the a b then we can say that the cross sectional area will be area of this sector minus the area of this triangle so anyway we will have every possible dimension and we can find out the area so the area of this uh, the circular part will be represented as equal to let's call it O sector sector O A B minus triangle O A B so we need to find out sector O A B and triangle O A B and for all of them we need to find just simply the radius so the only unknown thing that we have in this question is the radius now let's check the first statement the first statement says that the inside of the tank is exactly four feet in diameter which means the diameter is equal to 4 feet that means the radius is equal to 2 feet that means this is particularly filled with the semicircle then we can find out that the cross sectional area is semicircle 
right cross sectional area is half of pi times of 2 square that is equal to 2 pi therefore the volume will become 2 pi multiplied by 6 is equal to 12 pi and therefore the first statement alone is sufficient to answer the question so option b c and e are completely eliminated now let's check the second statement the second statement says that top of top surface of the gasoline forms a rectangle if you look at it from the top it looks like a rectangle such as the side view of this circle will look like this kind of a rectangle and this length is definitely equal to 6. The top of the gasoline forms a rectangle that has area equal to 24. That means we have this distance 2r. So we say that 2r multiplied by 6 is equal to 24. Therefore, r becomes equal to 2. And if r is equal to 2, then once again we can go back to the same state and this statement alone as well is sufficient to answer the question. And then the final answer to the question becomes option D, which says that each statement alone is sufficient to answer the question. Thank you so much.